Welcome back, YouTube, to part three of Observer with a Therapist. I hope you've been enjoying this so far. What's not to enjoy? As you bop along to this lovely song before we go into the microchip of the deceased, leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Follow the links in the description. Come dance with us live sometime. I'd love to have you here. Alright, without further ado. Let's get in there. The neural implants untouched. Well, let's get in there then, eh, Daniel? Warning. Attempting a necroneural connection is in direct violation of the Postmortem Observation Act of 2061. Authorization denied. Emergency override. Open maintenance panel. You cannot go into the deceased, huh? Emergency. Warning. Bring me that key sensor offline. Emergency extraction procedure offline. Chiron Incorporated. Press to start. Okay. Chiron, job interview number 3351, junior programmer, loading. <clears throat> Loaded. Miss Novak, you are a valuable asset to our company. Your hard work and loyalty are always appreciated. Please relax and answer as truthfully as you can. Do you want your homeland to thrive? Yes. Do you want to make the world a better place? Yes. Do you want to live without fear? Uh, yeah, probably good, yeah. Do you want to establish a productive relationship with Chiron Incorporated? Nah. Just trying to interview for a job there. Sh ah, sure, yeah. Will you cooperate? Press zero. Or O. Will you comply? Press B. Will you conform? Press E. Press Y. The Republic is your mother. Chiron is your father. A mother's love is unconditional. A father's pride demands sacrifice. Oh, God. <laughs> Are you... <laughs> wow. That's the uh, most intense who's your daddy I've ever uh, been subjected to in my life. Are you willing to sacrifice for the greater good? No. Don't lie to us, is what that said, if you didn't catch it. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, dude, sure, yeah, uh-huh. Work, productivity, happiness. You will be happy. You will be productive. You will work toward the greater good. Will you obey? Dude, all right. <laughs> this is scary stuff, man. You might be thinking to yourself, oh, what a goofy little computer program. But look, if you were in this time period and you need to make ends meet and you have no options, 
be poor or work for a company that is absolutely terrific so that you can pay the bills and eat, provide for yourself, you are in a vulnerable position. And then if you are funneled in a particular type of way, you may want to resist this at first, but once you realize that resistance to this is futile and you start to obey just because you want to make it go away and go as fast as it can, you start to become complicit in the system. And it happens very fast. And uh, it's, uh, it's not great. But it happens. In more ways than you may realize it happens. It can happen passively. It can happen via the types of applications that you access. It happens via the types of jobs you do, what you buy, where you go to buy things. There is this type of funneling that happens at all times. And some of it is inescapable. Like, literally, some of it is inescapable. And uh, some of it is escapable, but is so unbelievably difficult to escape that you just don't. You just go along with it because it's easier to go along with it than it is to fight against it because it, the system will crush you if you don't. What are you supposed to do here? Will you obey? Are you going to say no? computer shuts down police come after you potentially you don't now you can't pay you can't pay for food you can't feed yourself you can't afford your house anymore of course you're gonna say yes and you might say yes and go i'm lying but i'm gonna say yes because i need to but over time you keep complying comply 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 you become part of the system it's rough man you lose yourself very quickly loading finalizing subject assessment checking answers Analyzing behavioral patterns. Evaluating life choices. Warning. Subject spouse. Criminal record. Checking. No liability regarding current appointment. Point deduction. Minor. Warning ignored. Calculating score. Congratulations. Welcome to Chiron. Yes! 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 Hell yeah. Let's go. I am now a cog of the corporate machine. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. Just a shout out to anybody who may have had takes some sort of test like that for jobs, particularly if it had the Myers-Briggs or Enneagrams or some of that dumbass shit on it. Those are not actual measures of your personality. They do not tell anybody shit. If your employer is using that as an assessment, it's kind of a red flag. Those are not reliable or valid measures of anything. It's gross that companies do that. And in a lot of ways, they actually uh, they inadvertently legitimize those tests by doing that. It's icky, icky, icky. It's no different than saying, take this BuzzFeed exam before you work for us so we can figure out what kind of pickle you are. Anyway. I digress. Oh, man. Working in the in the cubicle area, no windows. This is so cool.
Back through surveillance. To make our children happy, to make our homes safer, to make our lives easier. Work hard, clear your mind, live free of fear. Work is life. Work together towards a common goal. Care. Okay, so uh, eventually, as you hear things like that, you go, okay, yeah, whatever. And eventually, over time, the that background noise like that with the the work is life, respect is surveillance, that kind of shit. You will habituate to hearing that because it goes over and over and over and over again. It's like when I worked at GameStop and I had to listen to stupid ass GameStop TV on a 40 minute loop for hours a day. Eventually it just falls to the background. However, it drills itself in. There is a droningness and a consistency to these little blips that are in that and it will find its way into the background of your psyche. Not to a point that it necessarily will orient you to certain behaviors, but you will be able to recite it very easily. And it is something that can start to skew certain things because of how bored down into your mind it is. There's a reason that that thing is sitting on loop. If it didn't have an effect on people, they wouldn't do it. It absolutely has an effect on people. You start getting comfortable with the message, surveillance, respect is surveillance. And then when you're presented, because the idea is that when you're presented with adversity, now all of a sudden you have to make a quick split second decision and you have something that has been so drilled via repetition into your mind that you act on it. And perhaps that means you see something unsavory as it relates to corporate rules and you become afraid of your job and you're worried about what you see. And you hear in your mind, respect is surveillance. And perhaps you do something because of that. Or you see somebody who's struggling to get their work done. And instead of going over to their cubicle and saying, how are you doing? You say to them, is there anything I can do to help you complete your work? You buy in to the productivity narrative here. Perhaps the only reason you even checked on that person is not because you actually care, but because you noticed that they're not being productive in the way that is expected, which means that you've started to buy into productivity as the end all be all, which means that this has subliminally made its way into your mind. We are slaves to our biology, and it is scary sometimes what can happen when we get inducted into these things. Absolutely, guys. I can absolutely have this. Hard work conquers fear. Help your coworkers. Hard work conquers fear. Life is fulfilling. Respect through surveillance. God, respect through surveillance. To make our children happy. To make our homes safer. To make our lives easier. Work hard. Clear your mind. God, man. Chiron. Wow. Fucking slop again. It's called soup. Now dig in. It's not getting any better. Hey, you. Come here.
This is so well done. Such an immersive experience, man. It moves, like it changes as I move. It's so neat. Like it's not moving autonomously. As I move, it bleaks. Flashing light warning. The hell was that? <laughs> oh, my God. I have a flashlight or something. Oh! Uh, just a crab. Okay. People messing with birds. It would, the, the stuff on the screens is really interesting to me. Like, okay. Bathroom. There's so much detail in here. Habituate people to surveillance. They will no longer question it in the ways that they may have when they were first introduced. Make it seem like it's in their best interest to be watched at all times. Oh boy, here we go. Patient card ready to print. Automatic printing sent to three set to three twenty AM. Okay. This tablecloth again.
I set the clock to 320. Ooh. Let's see what happens. Ha! Neat. Like surveillance outside, dude. Man, what a creepy vibe, dude. Creepy. The ray tracing makes this so much better with seeing my reflection and stuff in this. Oh, God, it's so cool. Amir, do you remember the night we met? Machines. <laughs> Amir, is that you? Does he go left or right? Ooh. Need to get out.
So, uh, just to expand a little bit on my hypothesizing from the last episode, I would venture a guess that part of the reason that we see so much of the recurring themes in some of these is because when you go through certain events of note, we'll call them, whether it be traumas or good things or just like things that are memorable or meaningful, whether you know they're going to be or not, there are certain aspects of those moments that your brain flags and associates with that thing. So think back to a time that maybe you got like in a car crash or you graduated or you, I don't know, you were proud of yourself or something bad happened. And then like try to imagine as much of it as you can. There's a good, there's probably a good chance that there are bits and pieces that are more salient to you than other pieces. Like you may not remember what the person who, you know, if you got in a car accident, you may not remember what the person who hit you was wearing but you may remember when you looked at their bumper and saw it hanging off and oil was dripping onto the concrete. And that becomes a recurring image that you associate with it as opposed to what that person was wearing or something like that. Like there's the way that the brain catalogs things in memory at moments of note is pretty fascinating. So my hypothesis about this is that this is what we're seeing from these people. Now, I will be curious to know how much of this is us being specifically on her microchip versus does our bias and transference as a observer of this start to play a role in the way that we see some of the patterns? I, I, I have to believe that Daniel Lazarski's past and certain things of his are going to show up in these spaces. I mean, I would be amazed if they didn't. Maybe they do, I don't know. But like that tablecloth, for example, that tablecloth was something that was present in both Amir and Helen's chip. And I find it hard to believe that that tablecloth, unless it was a very specific shared item, I find it hard to believe that that tablecloth is something that both of them would have found meaningful and kept present in their chips or in their memories. So I do wonder the extent to which Lazarski is leaking into his observation of these. But if you're wondering, like, why would there be so much of this repeat imagery? It actually makes sense from a psychological perspective why that would be the case. Back to the chaos. Which way to go? I want to go all the ways. I want to see everything there is to see. Six. Lakarski. Quit your turn. Okay. Eight nine six. Little guy. Is is mom gonna be alright? 
Young Adam. She's sick, Adam. Must have a little faith. It's just hard to say. All right, well, that answers my question. <clears throat> Oh, good. This is your chance. Jack. That's the tattoo parlor thing. I think that's the tattoo parlor seat, too. Yeah, okay, so we're starting to get elements of the tattoo parlor. God, the reuse of assets here is so good. Congratulations, you are now the proud owner of a CT-72 internal data storage. I've given you an accelerant to make the tissue heal faster. Just keep that dressing on for the next couple of days. You, uh, are you sure they won't find it? It's got a built-in scrambler and a shielded frame. No external scanning equipment can penetrate it. It's ghostware. Undetectable. Unless you know exactly where to look. Oh boy, what a, what kind of memory am I trying to encrypt? Store and make untraceable. Dude. Oh. Look, this thing. This is another thing that's reoccurring. What is this? What the hell did you do to yourself? Even start. I did what I had to. It's about time someone around here showed some initiative. What's that supposed to mean? You don't know. No, we're at the, this is the apartment complex. Argue, reoccurring arguments. 
upside down, walking on the ceiling. I wonder how much of this is blurry because of the drugs. Because if, if you are on drugs, your memories are going to be skewed, so. And there was drugs in the system, so. No, please, tell me. Tell me again how useless I am. How I can't keep a job because no one will hire a fucking junkie ex-con. Amir. Do you even know what you're getting into? It's not like I have a choice. We need the money, Amir. Whatever it takes, huh? Project database confidential download. Holy shit, did she download Chiron stuff into her memory core? Oh. Maybe that's why her chip was such a problem to be accessed. That noise is foreboding. Correct here. The hell is that? I don't love that. I do not love that. I do not love this. And it looks down below. Thank <laughs> you. 
I want to know what the significance of that thing is. I feel like I'm playing Alien Isolation again, dude. Go through that gap. Oh God. Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking it's sort of like Inception, like when there's the the things that are inside people's minds so that they don't get attacked by an intruder in their dreams. Yeah, probably something similar. Like, But, you know, it's kind of messing with me because it's like, is this my blocker? Or is this her blocker? Alright. Either way, big and scary. Don't love it. to go. Oh, oh, man. I don't know anything about how much range it has. How far it can see. Whether it actually will hurt me if I, it finds me. Go in there. Try to get over there. Seems like it's got a pretty consistent pattern. Oh my god. So I'll take a breath. I'd like to thank you all for being here with me as we attempt to survive whatever the hell that is. I uh, hope you left a like. 
you got to change your pants on you. Oh, baby, that was intense. You be quiet. It's so loud. Oh my god. Let's see if one of these has paper in it. I'm gonna get the collectible thing. God, that's a terrible noise. Oh my goodness gracious. If you had to listen to people printing on that all day, oh. Oh no, thank you. Hopefully big spooky monster doesn't come back while I'm going around poking at printers. But that's a big spooky monster. I'm supposed to download from all of these. Okay. So that would make sense. Hopefully we're safe. I really hope I don't have to deal with that stupid ass thing again because I would be super scary and not fun. Oh, good. Good. Now I get to go download two of them while I have another guy in here with me. Yay! Good. Nice. Hopefully and there's not one for every single freaking computer because that would really suck ass. We're gonna have to... Oh. Guy's real spooky scary. No! Oh! Good. Where are you at, Holmes? There's gonna be two of them when I do this. Just you, just just you watch. There's gonna be two of them. He's gonna have a buddy. There's one more. This is wild, dude. This is wild. Don't 
check under here. You can't see shit, bud. Some serious encryption, dude. I got an achievement for 10 nanophage patient cards. We'll deal with those later. For now. We watch this creepy shit. It looks like my first encounter with the... The Godskin duo in Elden Ring. And we're back in the apartment. Oh boy. <laughs> 
That's enough of that. Oh my goodness. This is so trippy, dude. All right, come on, little kid. Like, reinforces you to want to hold on to it. I can hear a baby be cool versus a baby crying. Respect is surveillance. I don't know how they got all this recorded. This is maybe one of the trippiest games I've ever played in my life. I, I like this is so you I am so enthralled by this. And I am just I am so immersed in how wild it's, this is. Oh good. Another computer to download stuff from. Which usually means that another big spooky guy is going to show up. online. Come with me, child. Oh, we're back in the apartment where the beheaded guy was. Hey, that's me.
Sounds like we got all of it. So, what is all of this stuff, exactly? It's probably best if you don't know. Exactly. It's not anything nasty, is it? Like, a virus or some top-secret weapon type shit? <laughs> no. Nothing like that. What then? I mean, what could possibly be worth the risk? The future. Oh, good. We're just really getting after it today. Nice spooky cornfields with drones. A normal person would totally be walking through this cornfield in the middle of the night. Absolutely no issues at all. It would be fine. Normal people do this. Easy peasy. Nothing to be spooked about here. Just thinking about doing a summer job in corn to tasselin and wanted to get a lay of the land that's all and uh you do that at night because i don't want to risk being hit by heavy machinery that's why i'm here nothing nothing else to worry about no need to think anything less than that it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine yeah it's, it is fine. It's not even it gonna be fine. Suggest it's not fine now. It's fine now. It's totally fine now. Everything's fine. Just walking through the corn to the light poking up out of the corn. That's what we do. Yeah. Exactly. Normal people do this all the time. I mean, I'm from Indiana. Certainly done this a time or two. Oh, good. Ah, oh, yes. Hello, computer. Calling. I don't think I can do this anymore. I think they're on to me. You're being paranoid. No one's on to you. You don't get it. Every time I go in there, it's like they're all watching. Yesterday, this executive creep gave me this look like I, I could just tell he knew. If they knew, we'd all be dead by now. Maybe they're just messing with our heads. And what purpose would that serve? I don't know. To get their fucking sadistic load off? That's not how they operate. Trust me. I was with the corporation long enough. Oh, yeah, this can eat at people for sure. So essentially, I'm guessing what's happening is because she knows that she has data that could get her in quite a bit of trouble. She, despite the fact that she was given assurances by the surgeon about the security of it, you start to project, unfortunately, onto the world. Like, it would make sense because the ramifications of her getting caught are so profound that she is likely to be in a state of hyper arousal constantly you start getting so paranoid that somebody knows you start to worry about your own behavior you start to assume that people see anomalies in your behavior as indicative of the thing that is super salient to you even though there's a really good chance that nobody actually is paying attention to this or knows this can drive a person mad this is why like if people this is generally why like if you have somebody who wants to like tell you a giant secret and is like you can't tell anybody and if people know that you know it's going to be a big deal like that's not a great position to be in it can really lead to a degree of paranoia that is not fun or easy to manage Whew. 
So she's now seeing every single thing as a filter through her own inductive experience. And that's, man, when you start thinking that you're at the center of attention and that everybody's got eyeballs on things that you're worried about, that is miserable, truly miserable. Now all of a sudden that, sur because th this is actually exactly what I was talking about earlier with the surveillance is respect, or respect is surveillance, right? You've had all these messages just absolutely drilled into you and so has everybody else. So now all of a sudden you do a thing that you know if it was actually surveilled and caught, you'd be in big trouble and you know that respect is surveillance is a, is a common sentiment that is constantly blasted at the faces of people around you. So it would make you paranoid about the people around you. It would, in a lot of ways, force compliance. And non-compliance comes with so much anxiety that you start to act weird and you likely can get picked out of a crowd just because you're acting weird. You just have no way of winning. Comply or look anomalous. Brutal. Psychological brutality. Oh my God. Whoa, dude. <laughs> This is so trippy. At cameras, she thinks every camera is watching her. Everything becomes a mirror. Ooh, the symbolism of that's pretty neat. Everything's watching. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Dude, the game design in this is so awesome. <laughs> it's so awesome. Oh man. Trapped in your own paranoid mind. Constantly trying to grasp onto the reassurance from somebody external that you trust. Amir. Increasingly struggling to touch it or to trust it. Apartment 104, back home. Imagine this in VR. Everything's closing in. Eyeballs everywhere. Oh, man. I just need to get home. Wow. <laughs> Basement. Down to the basement. I am control. I am. This is so awesome. Familiar 
Stable. Strain level critical. Synchrosine injection recommended. Yes. Synchrosine injected. Strain level decreased. That was wild. Absolutely wild. All of that so that we can log into this chair. Yep. 3615, was it? Let's give it a shot. Managed to open a hidden passage, made it this far. Might as well see where it leads to. Yeah, why not? Yes. Synchrosine <laughs> injected. Strain level decreased. Little key. Take that. Thank you very much. Room 208 key. Okay. getting hot in here. Let's turn that fan on. Surgical chop shop. Just what we need. We've been here before. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh. Ooh. They were doing some serious mods down here. Tattoo shop, covering storefront for doing some real cool illegal shit. This is, this is good. Synchrosine refilled. Low power. Look at these hooks and shit. Oh my god. Synchrosine collected. Synchrosine collected. I'll be needing a lot of synchrosine. Let's clear this place out. Sanitary at all, man. This is just infection city. Low power. Was gonna get more power. Where's the baby TV when you need it, you know?
All right, perhaps we go back upstairs and move some power around. Oh, wait, I always forget I have this shit. This place is a fucking slaughterhouse. Automated saw. Structural irregularities detected. There is a guy waiting for you in 102. Oh, I can give that to the guy in 102? Basic audio recording device. Okay. What do we have here? Oh, here we go. Okay. You can only imagine the biological shit. Sturdy enough. Portable winch. Unregistered device risk of cybercrime application. Decrypting station. I've seen these before. This will help me decrypt the figurine. Device detected. Okay. Audio logs. Audio entry number 24. July 6th, 2083. Finally managed to set up a workspace. It's not ideal, but it'll have to do. Unfortunately, the first trial proved unsuccessful, to say the least. I think after five years of working on this project, my know-how would be sufficient. But without my data, this looks to be a long and bumpy road. Adam was down here doing some chop shop stuff. July 25th, 2083. I made some unlikely allies. They might be able to assist me in my research, help me retrieve my data from Chiron. I wasn't planning on involving others. It makes the whole endeavor even riskier than it already was. But I need to be realistic about this. An undertaking of this magnitude, I need all the help I can get. What's the undertaking? You're being very cryptic. September 2nd, 2083. Finally got some of my data back. For all the good it did. Subjects are proving unstable. Limited faculties, mental disorders. They just seem broken. Incomplete. Uh, the latest one. Well, he, uh, he just started screaming and he... Never stopped. I had no choice but to terminate. I can still hear him. Dude, what were you doing? September 16th, 2083. He sounds more demoralized. I've been getting much sleep. Yeah. Drugs do half a decent job of keeping me awake, but the physical limitations are slowing me down. <clears throat> As they tend to do, I feel like the answer is staring me right in the face. And I'm missing it. Maybe I'm not as smart as I'd like to think. Maybe I'm just destined to fuck up. To fail everyone. Seems to run in the family. Ooh, little shot of daddy. Project, oh fuck. Shit. I, uh, I, uh, uh, I, I don't, I don't remember what day it is. The dreams are getting worse. No doubt a side effect of the stimulants. I just need to ask Jack to adjust the dosage. Um, what's worse is, I think my subconscious is starting to seep into my waking hours. The other day I could swear I heard whispering coming from the black box. 
Since that's clearly impossible, I have to attribute the symptoms to sleep deprivation. Jack was that snake thing that was found, that was going along in the dream, so I'm curious to see what the connection is there. I uh, usually don't put much stock in dreams, but this one was so vivid. I dreamt of my last day at Chiron. I was back in the boardroom, the executive giving me the same condescending look, telling me to grow up to move on only this time his face was different it was a sneering mask of contempt and disapproval it was the face of my father oh would love to know more about the nature of the relationship between dan and adam text logs list of subjects Terminate. What the hell have you been doing, Adam? Unresponsive terminated. Under, they're all terminated. Semi-responsive, extremely limited faculties. Responds to basic stimuli, limited faculties, extreme aphasia, which means you can't see faces. Responds to basic stimuli, limited faculties, partial aphasia, total memory loss. Response to basic stimuli, limited faculties, partial memory loss. Response to basic stimuli, limited faculties, partial memory loss. Response to basic stimuli, improved faculties, frontotemporal dementia. Response to basic stimuli, extreme anxiety, psychosis. Fully responsive, gradual personality disintegration. Fully responsive, multiple schizoaffective disorders. Fully responsive, delusional disorder. Fully responsive bipolar disorder, fully responsive to neurotic depression, extreme dysphoria, fully responsive appears fully cognizant, no immediately distinguishable disorders, terminated, it's contained and pending. Well, I wonder if that's the person who paid us a lovely visit when I turned the power on. a little harshly on the door. All right, so this moves along this track, but what would be the purpose? Human hands, then. There we go. Cool. Well, what's going to be down in the hole? That's a great question for us to answer in part four. Uh, friends, thank you so much for taking the time to enjoy this collective acid trip we're all on. Video game in induced psych psychosis. I don't know. It's a, This is a wild game, and I am loving it a lot, and I hope you are too. Thank you so much for watching. What's in the hole? Find out in the next episode. Hey, 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 hey. All right. Thanks for leaving a thumbs up. Thanks for leaving comments. Follow the links in the description, all that fun stuff. If you're binging, you want to get down in that hole right now, I'll see you in the next episode. If you're waiting for the next one to come out because you just can't wait to get in the hole, get it out to you as soon as you possibly can. You're fabulous. You matter. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>